Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Toronto Raptors are on a three-game winning streak for the first time this season. It might be against the Blazers, might be against the Hornets, back-to-back, -back, but here at Homestand NBA Studios, we take a win as it is. A win is a win, especially the way the Raptors have been playing this entire time. I'm Rosainab, next to Jelani goodridge Reed and Justin Pooney, and today we're going to go over the Raptors and uh, how they've fared so far within that three-game winning streak, and they have the Hawks coming up tomorrow on top of that, we're also going to discuss the, the Purple Dinos. Bring the purple jerseys back. It's been Please. how long? Please. The fans are dying asking for it. Minimalism is not the part of the NBA. Are those it's jerseys not. minimal, though? No, we'll get to it. the jerseys oh, right I, I, now. I, I, see yeah, just we'll, we'll, I see what you're saying. It's Friday, <laughs> guys. I'm half checked in, half checked out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore. I'm just gonna. All you can do here is just ignore. It. Anyway, and the last point will be about just the fan experience at Scotia Bank Arena and how it's kind of changed over the years. What has attributed to that? Is it the fans? Is it just the pricing? Is it you know pricing out the actual fans? Um, we have a lot to say on mm -hmm. these matters. But first, the Raptors got their uh, third game. Third win against, sorry, last night against the Hornets. Back to back, they actually had a pretty solid win in this one. They were, mm -hmm. they had the lead pretty much the entire time, yeah. except the third quarter. Raptors came to the third quarter. We know that. We know this. Um, it was like what I think they had 28, 23, sorry, 19, 22 going in the third or whatever. Um, they lost that one, but they came out. They won everything. Precious the was coming back from his injury, and he's been looking fantastic mm -hmm. coming off the bench. Um, kind of almost like himself. Pretty much, the right? Raptors need that. And we need, need that. We that need badly. the depth yeah, massively. Absolutely. And his uh, his contribution helps in the bench department, too, because, again, last night the Raptors had about 23 bench points for the Coloco, with Boucher, with Precious Achua, and that helps your starters. And Pascal mm -hmm. Siakam, 35 points, guys. How do you guys feel? How are you feeling about this team after this uh, All-star level like? performance from Pascal Siakam last night. Mm. I said it. Wow. On camera. He did. Pascal Siakam looked... And played like an all-star last night. Near perfect shooting night. 35 points. Was the guy from the jump from the get-go. Uh, he was the guy. He was he was him. <laughs> as simple <laughs> as that. And he played awesome yeah, yeah. last night. He played really well. Um, and the Raptors are gonna need a lot more of those type of efforts from Pascal Siakam if they want to get back into this wishful thinking of a playoff <laughs> race. But oh, definitely, man. I think the main story last night uh, was Pascal Siakam's stellar, stellar play. Yeah. And maybe Scotty Barnes and, and his passing. Yeah, I know. The, we we talked about it the last show and about mm, point guard one Scotty. The PG one, you never PG know. One. But the, the vision that Scotty has, we understand mm -hmm. who he is in that aspect. That really, really does help the Raptors. And we saw it help, you know, last night against the Hornets. Absolutely. When you're talking about the performance, it was great. The scoring, that's what we've been struggling with at times. The shooting as well. We've been struggling with that at times. And you need some of those games. I, I get it. It's the Hornets. It's not It's not the biggest win, okay? It's not a marquee win, but this is a win that could help you possibly mm -hmm. moving forward. Now, you know, three wins in a row. Start to feel good about yourselves for yeah. once in the regular season. It's been a tough regular season so far. So we've been wanting a stretch like this, and the Raptors can really use this, okay? And, and since it was the Confidence. Hornets, yeah. Confidence is key. Yeah. And right? these are the games. These are the games you yeah. have to win against the teams like the Hornets that are, Absolutely. you know, bottom feeders. This is where you get those Ws. Mm -hmm. That's that's where you get your momentum for the next couple of games. And we've seen that with teams in the prior years too, where they kind of struggle up until the December, January mark. And then right at the cusp of January, they kind of turn this season around. And could the Raptors be doing that Never with know. the Hawks coming up tomorrow? Ah, it's tough because the Hawks, I, yeah. I'm looking at them. They're, they've they're been struggling. Also, I, yeah, yeah. Me, me and Justin have been we've talking been about the, the praises of the Hawks. We've been pushing it a lot. <laughs> Oh, we've, okay. been the, we've, been, we've been doing the propaganda, oh uh, but, you know, it, it hasn't been going that well this season, okay? <laughs> Sorry about that. What was that? Not, I'm not, petrified of that. It has not I'm gone. nightmares of that. Don't do that ever again. Don't do that ever again. Please, Dad, don't do that ever again. We, don't, we don't need that, our, that social clip. Uh, anyway. Oh, my God. What was that? We, we um... <laughs> That wasn't remember, a bird. That wasn't a hawk. That was like a. Like like remember a, when Shaq did it uh, on TNT, the the, the hawk sound, and yeah, yeah. Kenny. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. I tried mine, but no, no yeah, no. it sounded like a dying bird. But yeah, no, that, but... that's the, the Hawks have been very wow. inconsistent this season. I, I was looking at them possibly as a top six. It's still possible, but a lot more possible than Toronto Raptors. Oh my goodness, gracious. arguable, but it, it's fair. It's a fair, <laughs> fair point. Yeah, but I will, I will look at. I'm looking at the Hawks right now. The way their offense has been looking. You know, here and there, it's good. 
But at the same time, you, you can say inconsistency is there. And the defensive side of the basketball for the Hawks hasn't been that great mm. either. And we understand off court what they're dealing with with Nate McMillan and all those stuff, the stuff about Trey Young and Kyle Corver's on the assistant. Corver, yeah, Corver, he's assistant GM, by the way, uh, with Landry Fields, former Raptor, remember? Yes. But yes. Um, yeah, for this game, I think the Raptors could get it done, right? Because they're just, they're feeling good about mm-hmm. themselves now. They're actually playing some good basketball for once. Um, mm-hmm. And this could be a spot where the Hawks get got. So I actually do like the Raptors to continue this win streak. No, this might not become a 10 game win streak, but this, <laughs> this is a great period right now. Justin, you're going to roll with your Hawks? Of oh, course. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Justin's off to exit this. this Ladies and gentlemen, this <laughs> is what happens when you are actually... The, the sane one. People always point out as the insane one of the bunch. Case and point. Insane. Both these two. I'm so sorry you had to witness that. You jokes? have to do it now, though. Yeah, you have. We both did it. You have to do one now, too. I'm going with the Atlanta hey. Hawks to win tomorrow night in Toronto. <laughs> Shout out to our producer Stevie Z on that one. That one is dedicated to my man, producer Stevie Z, yeah, when he yeah. has a couple of rum and cokes in the system. That's what comes on the dance floor. All right. Well, um, hopefully the Raptors are hawking through. Okay. What? Okay. Okay. What? The, what does that even mean? Because it's been a bar. That, that, that makes sense. That makes no, sense. I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Like, like, dude, I, I get through the bar. Like they I will guess. be. Hopping through the win uh, tomorrow night. Oh, but you know one thing the Raptors... Yeah, I, it's Friday. I don't, I don't even true, know anymore. True. But the one thing the Raptors could use that could help them, maybe not in winning, but perhaps marketing, bring back the purple. Okay. Bring okay. back Dino. You got to call You got to call Drizzy, though, if you want to... Do the, but you know what? Okay, let's problem, not even yeah. bring Drizzy up. Because Why? Drizzy's giving his name and stamp to other 30 teams in the league. Just, just, Dr- <laughs> he was Drizzy, at the game last oh, night. Drizzy, 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 Drizzy Drake, do you understand what ambassador means? You Drake and Adonis were at the Adonis, game last night. What are you talking about? Yeah, this, but cut. the OVO is supposed to be now all league-wide. It's going to be for every team. If that's what he wants to do. But excuse me, Drake, if that's the case, um, you're no ambassador. Why do you always hate on Drake so much? Because he's not... Well, I look at the training center, OVO, OVO training, center. training center, OVO training center, OVO court. You, but if you're going to be giving a jersey, right? Like if mm. you're going to be sponsoring a jersey with your OVO brand, you're going to be like this. Will it be on, the like ambassador. the practice jerseys throughout the league, or is that? It, I think is it's like plan? I think he's trying to. I'm not sure if it's the practice jerseys or I like actual not, jerseys. But yeah, he support. wants to he, the Dang. OVO brand. He wants to throughout. Yeah, mm. he wants to expand it throughout the entire league. Wow. And if that's the case, can you tell me from the bottom of your heart? Bottom of your, I don't know if you have one, but like dig deep inside and tell me that's fair. As a Toronto Raptors fan, Drake, no, that's not fair. And if that, and if he was a real fan from the day one, he would have somehow implemented purple and Dino on these jerseys. But do the Raptors, so the Raptors are all whole ma- mantra and ma- is we the North, we're Canada's eight, team, eight, right? Eight. There's no purple on the Canada flag, is there? Doesn't, but the original team, it the original this, this team what, had this purple. Is what I'm say, this is what I'm saying. Their whole slogan is "We the North." We are the only NBA team. In but that started in 2013. We want to represent Canada. I don't want your therapist voice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you started. need my therapist voice now because you're completely unhinged on this right now. So if you let me de-escalate okay, the situation whatever. and bring it down. 2013 makes sense. Like, yeah, it was started the We the North era. But if you want to go back the, to the, I what? But because We the North happened, we forgot the entire past 15 years. We had well, I mean, the Dino We the North era, you guys all forgot the, bla- the 15 years before. Oh, that, you're so funny. Was... <laughs> you're never going to the best quarter two years. So funny. Let's see, let's see. So, Johnny, let me get, let, let me just, some insight. First of all, let me get to the OVO I point know. real quick. Um, <laughs> So you're, you're saying that Raptors fans shouldn't be too happy about, you know, OVO possibly being like on other teams jerseys or you know practice jerseys I, you're, but same you're way, to be same happy way though that. same way uh mm-hmm. how do the bulls fans feel about jordan's logo being all over the place every jersey is on the logo. pistons it's on the pistons jersey the you know what i mean the, the, jerseys, the rapid well, jersey but, you know it's, it, about, it, okay. it's okay it's about money yeah it's okay. trying to get money from the nba we, we can't we, hate a guy we gotta, the money. we gotta respect the boy we gotta respect the boy but i would like something to be just about <laughs> toronto but it kill me sue me do what you want to do it's fine. as for the jerseys i i've been somebody who's been saying bring back the dino in terms of the logo itself first of all i think the logo should be the Dino Store. Stop. I think it's one of the best logos of all time. All right. And then secondly, I'm looking at the jersey colors. You're talking about, okay, with the North, yes, Canada. I know the colors of the flag. But, you? but I think it's what red kind of and white. Is that? But, okay. but I'm looking at, you know, just 
just the Carter, you know, look at look at Carter, look at the McGrady, no, the purple. Even even if they bring back the two tone, remember the purple, the, the black, the purple and the back? And the, yeah, that those one's ones, underrated. That's those underrated. ones I actually like more than the the, Ooh, the big I, fat that, dinosaur. I haven't heard that take, but I, 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 I do I, I do like it though. Yeah. I think I think they're actually slept on. They are. They, I, I think they they're are. very slept on. So I think they should bring it back. And when we're talking about the jerseys throughout the league, right? Mm minimalism killing just killing the designs of these jerseys nowadays i don't know what nike's up to okay shout out to you guys but look i'm, I'm looking at it in the designs i'm just not feeling them at all Aww. and i feel like the raptors should go back to the purple I don't minimalism point, I don't is everywhere even beyond just your teams and your jerseys if you look at the mcdonald's around the streets now they look like a lawyer's office what what's up true. with that what's up with what that let's bring out religionality and the big ronald mcdonald's yeah. yes everybody was listening justin wants to be in the play palace again <laughs> bring the play palace back great for great childhood justin. memories were at the play place at McDonald's. <laughs> he wants to go there the 26 Same. year old so please make that happen but we are running out of time today so really really quickly guys this also kind of ties into the fan experience at scotia bank arena i think this past year it's got something to do obviously with the state of the team as well mm -hmm. they haven't been playing to their um standards and obviously what the hell do you cheer for if the team's not winning Ooh. but at the same time yeah. it's like the Ooh, prices awesome. have gone up Did yeah. I, am i wrong sorry apologies to anybody who's going to be in the comments and mad about this one but you know what i mean like if the team's sucking <laughs> like maybe be reflective in the price department yeah. too because it is what it is it, comes, it comes with money though like MLSC is a multi, multi billion look at the Leafs, dollar. Look at the Leafs too with their the, the, the MLSC knows they can want, jack the 100%. prices up as high as they want. People are still gonna buy tickets. People are still gonna spend fifteen dollars for a beer, seventeen dollars for a vodka Red Bull at a Scotia Bank Arena, which is wild to me. That's still gonna much. buy merch. They're still gonna. It's gonna. Yeah, it but just you're happens. but the real fans, the ones that are you're the true Raptors the fans, MLSC watching the game about, from their living they room, don't, but they, with the these companies the don't. Table. They don't care they about it. They don't care about it. These big companies Justin, don't care. Justin, we don't about. want but, your but logic. Thing, we want to talk about why. Like, let's bring yeah, it back. The other thing is, the other thing is, even in the players, right? A lot of players have said Toronto, one of the toughest places to play. Yeah. The crowd, the crowd, the crowd. Yes. Throughout the past, how many years? As of late, the crowd is not even a factor. It's this, not. The, the, the Toronto Raptors, like, at home, they don't really scare teams as much anymore. No. Because of that element as well. The crowd plays a huge role. A lot of people want to overlook that. They have a record player going over the, every, the like, announcements when they want to go, let's go. Ra There's not yeah, one the, person you, you next to, to me actually saying it. You shouldn't have to encourage yeah. people to, you know, And everything you hear is kind of I think, fake. I think I it's Of course, it's all... It is what it most is. Most Toronto, but... most Toronto sports are corporate. Well, if the Raptors want to pick a direction, I hope they yeah. also uh, realize that it needs to reflect in the uh, pricing of that yeah. team. I don't know who to add. MLSC Raptors pricing PR, and bring back the purple, please. Bring back the purple. Thank Listen you. to us. Like and make know... uh, makes a better concession. I'm tired of pizza, pizza <laughs> at the games, man. Like it's a lot of stuff, Justin. Maybe if you walked around the place and not just go from exit to exit, there's actually a lot of. I'm nice there to watch the game. They're all there to... anyway, so yeah. I, just, how the hell I pass. Do you know? Anyway, I'll eat before the game. The Raptors play the Hawks tomorrow. We will see if they can maybe extend this winning streak. I believe they can. It's their last game of the homestand as well against we'll the Hawks. So after that, they'll be on a um, on on the road for a, quite a while. Um, but that will definitely set the tone for how they want to take up those games. Let's hope for some wins, boys. Take care.